This is Professor Satoshi Sekiguchi. He's building the fastest supercomputer in the world. Hmm. And it could change everything. Isn't that right, Professor? I'm sorry, say it again. Wait, that's not it, is it? Oh, this one? No, no. <laughs> it's just in a portal uh, to get access to the supercomputer. Ah, a portal. Got it. The professor works in Tsukuba, here at the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology. He's on the third floor, and supercomputing is his speciality. Supercomputer is a very fast at least a million times faster. If you used one for a day, it would take your laptop or desktop 3,000 years to do the same amount of math. Supercomputers have been used to run complex climate change simulations. They've recreated the Big Bang and a rat's brain. They've given us mobile phones. They've crunched data for cures for diseases and even helped invent diapers. A supercomputer called Watson even won a million dollars for coming first place on the quiz show Jeopardy. What's he going to spend it on? Anyway, the one Professor Sekiguchi is building aims to be faster and smarter than all of them. When it's finished, it'll put Japan at the forefront of artificial intelligence design. He says it'll be able to run programs that simulate human-like thought processes. It will analyze tons and tons of data, amounts that other computers would just freak out over. And from that, it can make decisions based on what it has learned from the data. It will help artificial intelligence in hospitals make more accurate diagnoses. It will create safer driverless cars it's one of those situations where the possibilities are endless. So it's going to take a year and a half to build it, and the government are putting in $173 million to help make it. Oh, and it's going to be huge. That's like a parking lot with space for 30 to 40 cars? And so the screen... But it does have a mouse. Why doesn't it have a mouse? Right, yes. No screen. Does it have any lights? This supercomputer looks set to take us into the future, but can we really predict what that future will look like? Will it all be flying cars and jetpacks? That's right. It's え、30年前を振り返ってみると、あ、こんなに差が出たなっていうことがわかるようになると思います。Professor, thanks very much.